Hello everyone, this is Moon and Agam. Today we are going to see the CRUD operations in Python MongoDB using the Python module PyMongo. CRUD stands for Create, Read, Update, Delete operations. So for today video we are going to use the tool called Jupyter Notebook. So in the part one we are going to see how to import the PyMongo, making PyMongo client, creating DB, creating collection, inserting a single document into the collection, inserting multiple documents into the collection, reading a single document from the collection, reading multiple documents from the collection, reading the records with some conditions such as like uncondition or condition or limiting the documents count such as. In part two, we will be covering updating a single document, updating multiple documents, updating document based on a particular condition, editing document, dropping collection and dropping database itself. Here the test data has been taken from the below URL, the same URL or the same PDF will be commented in your video. The first line goes like pip install pymongo, which is nothing but terminal python command. If you want to execute the terminal python command in the notebook, you need to prefix with exclamation symbol. So already I have installed the pymongo, that's why I'm getting the output like requirement already satisfied. Next one, import pymongo. So just running the tool, so it will import the pymongo. In order to create a database, first you need to have the client for the pymongo. For that, the pymongo.mongo client will create the client for you. So that will be saved into the client variables. So here Mongo client will be creating the client with the local host with the port number 27017. So now we have the client. So after the client, we need to create the database here. So I'm going to create the database. So here client dot the DB name. So DB name is here Marine. So with that, we will be creating the database. In order to access the database in Python, we need to have the variable. So for that, the name of the variable also here Marine. Now we have the database. Now we are going to create the collection. So under the marine database. So marine.ships. So here ships will be your collection name. So this will be your collection. However, in order to access your collection under the DB marine, you need to have the variable. So for that, I'm creating the marine DB underscore ships collection. So this will be your variable in future so that you can access the collection. So now we have the collection also. Now we are going to insert the documents into the collection. So we have the variable called marine db underscore ships collection dot insert. So it will insert the data with the valid document. So document in the sense JSON document. So it will have the valid key and value pairs. The value can be a list or the value can be a document itself. Here you can see the simple example of the document which has the key and value pairs about something like ship. So it will have the name, operator, type, class, crew, and the course. course the value is the list of elements such as like 10, 11, 12. So just execute this line. So here you will be getting the object ID as the output or the result or written value. But however, here they mentioned that is a duplication because hereafter we should be using the insert one or insert many. So here insert one. So insert one will be having the same kind of syntax. So the marine db underscore ships collection insert one, the same valid documentation or the valid document. Here I'm running and after that I am saving the output into the result. So just click on this and run it. So you have the result now. So from the result you can get different values but however we can get the inserted ID. So we have the object ID. So next one insert many. In some cases we may need to insert multiple documents in the same time. So for that we will be having the method called insert underscore many. So in that you will be having the list of valid JSON documents. Here the main thing is list. So it should start with the list symbol and after that it should have the valid JSON separated by the comma. So if you have the valid document and if you execute, then the output will be saved into the results. So let's execute this line. So now you will have the results, but however, when compared to the previous one here, you will have the method called inserted IDs because we have inserted multiple documents. So you can have the multiple object IDs for the same number of documents that you have inserted. So now we have seen how to insert a single document or how to insert a multiple documents. Next one is reading documents from the same database from the same collection. Here we have the same variable which points to our collection ships. So marine db underscore ships collection find one. So this will find the top one. You can consider as a top one or the first record. So let's execute this one. So you will be having the record from the top. Simple as it is, right? So read documents with the limit. Sometimes in SQL, if you are familiar with SQL, there will be a terminology called row num. So row num will restrict your outputs into some numbers. 
so for the same reason we will be having here so marine db underscore ships collection find so find inside we have not given any parameter or any json that means that we don't have any selection criteria but however dot limit will restrict how many records you may get it but it will be restricted to the limit of number what you mentioned here so here we have limited to two documents so let's execute and see this so now we have the result so result it's called a iterator so if you want to see that one just type result and execute so it is the cursor of the pymongo cursor means it will have multiple documents or multiple records from the database retrieval however you need to use the next statement to see how many records are coming here so we will iterate one by one from the starting so you will be having the first record so out of two records you have seen the first record again you are executing the next method you are getting the second document as well after that if you try to execute the same method again you will be getting the error like stop iteration so it is the exception in programmatic way if you want to stop this one you will be capturing capturing this one into the stop iteration exception so however we have completed the simple reading documents with the limits are directly reading all the documents so next one read documents with the required fields so here you can see marine db ships collection find then after that find inside we have mentioned two open curly braces which means that there is no where condition or no conditions but however in select column we want to see only the name so we don't want to see all the documents or sorry all the fields in this all the documents so we want to see only the name column or only the name key from every document so that is the criteria so before proceeding further we will go to the robo 3d and we will see how our database collected or let's say how our collection looks like so here you can refresh and you can see the marine db has been created then after under the collection you can see the ships so here here you can see multiple documents has been inserted already as we entered so here you can see the different ships documents okay let's jump into the code here so here in the output so let's you can see here here we have different fields like name operator type class crew course right so however we want to see only the name key in the output so for that we have mentioned first in the find first one we have mentioned that we don't have any condition to retrieve the records but however all the documents retrieved from the query but we should see only the value of name and we have mentioned underscore id as false because in the output again we don't want to see the object id which is nothing but underscore id key so that's why we mentioned underscore id is false so let's execute this one so now we have the result as we discussed result will be the cursor so we are executing the next key so here you can see the next value which is having the one document but in the document we are seeing only the name key so let's execute one more time and see how the result goes so you are getting the next document so like that you will be keep on iterating because we don't have mentioned any filter condition so that it will be retrieving or it will be iterating all the documents from the ships which is nothing but our collection next one read document that matches given condition so here we comes to the where condition in case of sql statement in sql statement you will be having the where condition so whatever we have seen it is like a select class here we are seeing the where class in where class i am mentioning find one document so that means that here the one one more method find one so find one method means if you have multiple documents retrieved also it will be showing only the first record from that so that is called find one method so inside the find one method we have the again valid json format which is nothing but name and then expected or the expected value so what it will do is it will go to your ships collection and it will retrieve all the records based on your name which is having the value of uss dpn so however it will show only one record to you so let's execute and see the output here you are seeing only the document only one document which is matching our where condition so next one and condition sometimes you may be executing the queries based on the different conditions and it should be combined with and so for that reason we will be having the again marine db ship collection then find one here also we are going to see only one record but however in this time you just you just understand inside the methods you will be always using the json form so it starts with angular bracket then after we are going to use the and condition so first key will be dollar symbol and then and so it will be the key and the value will be list of your and conditions so that means that you may be having a n number of 
unconditioned let's say one or two or three or n number of unconditioned in this example you will have only two unconditioned so that two unconditioned will be considered inside the list the first condition is name is equal to ikas group and operator is killing an empire so this will be your two conditions but it will be combined with and so that's why we have the dollar and and you will be you may be getting a single document or multiple documents but however output should be the top one so that's why we have used the find one execute this one and see the output the output is matching with our uncondition and it matches both condition because it's and operator next one sometimes you may be using the r condition in the sql the same way here also pymongo we will be using the find one but inside the condition you will be using like valid json inside the valid json the key will be dollar r which means that we are going to use the r condition and the value will be the list of conditions which are connected with r operator so for example here name will be this one and after another condition class is equal to fn so both will be concatenate with r operator so in this case it will go to the ship selection and it will find the documents only one document it can be either ikis group or the class as dpn so in this case we have satisfied the second condition not the first condition so from the starting they have found they will be just iterating each records in that record which one matches first that will be coming to your output because we have mentioned only the find one in case if you want all the documents you can mention the find as well so next one greater than condition normally we will be having the where condition with some numerical values greater than less than equal to not equal to like that here we have greater than symbol so greater than symbol means the same let's say marine db ships collection and find operator here the value is crew sorry the key is crew under the crew whichever the documents having the value greater than 60 that we want so for that rather than mentioning directly 60 here because if you mention crew code and 60 means whichever the document has crew as 60 only those documents will be retrieved but however we want the documents which has the crew as the key and value is more than 60 so for that reason we are mentioning the condition here inside the value so value again it will be the again json document so json will be dollar gt so gt stands for greater than then value is 60 so that means that which of the document has proof with value greater than 60 will be retrieved for the result so let's execute this one now we have the result now you can execute the result next so you can the result next so it will be iterating cursor and it will be giving the output so the crew value is 70 750 actually because it is greater than 60. if you want to see is it correct or not you can see the robo 3d or you can go to the same let's say our document insertions so in the starting we have inserted single document and multiple documents so here you can see the multiple documents first one is 750 next one is let's say 4 and remaining all are like 40 50 50 and 25 and 65 so here we have mentioned 60. So we have seen the first one 750 that's why we are not seeing the 65 here if you want to see the next result so you can execute this code again which is nothing but 65 that also could. again if you want to execute you will be getting the error so stop iteration because we have only records which are two which satisfied our greater than 60 condition so this is all about this CRUD operation in the PyMongo. if you have any doubts please comment in the video session then after in second part, we will be seeing the remaining updating and deleting and dropping of different areas. So thanks all. Thanks for watching and have a great day.